But since we're talking about TV, I, I want to take a moment and talk about AEW and their TV and, and what's going on. Uh, great. I've loved the show on, uh, on on Wednesday. It was a really good show. That opening with John Moxley and Hangman was great. Great match. Uh, I thought the show top to bottom, they did a lot to create, you know, to, to put emphasis on, on the future and the stars and everything else that they're doing. But... You know, th this is a company that's in a TV deal year. And WWE is a very, very hot product right now. And I know people are in denial about this. But when you look at their financials and you look at their ratings increasing and you look at their show numbers as far as the gates go, uh, it's a hot product. Whether or not you like every aspect of it. For me, the bloodline stuff is is the thing to tune into. Roman and Sammy, that's a very captivating story. Cody winning the Rumble, captivating story. But you, when you compare it to AEW, they're both in a TV deal. What kind of money is AEW going to get? You know, we hear that they want a streaming platform, which they need. 100% they need that streaming platform. I, there's How is it that I don't have a way to do this? You know, they, there's no archival, really, there's no archival service that has all the AEW shows on there. You got to bounce around whether or not you're on BR Live or, you know, you're you're viewing it on the TBS app. And I'm not I'm not even sure if it's next day on TBS, to be honest. Somebody told me that it is when when I had checked a while ago, it wasn't on for me. So I'm, I'm curious about that. But, you know, these are all parts of the negotiation. And the network will always want more. So. Is the conversation that they need to add more hours in order to get more money? And unfortunately, if that's the case, and you know, you're looking at a third hour of ramp of dynamite, which I, I don't know if I, I want that. It's very possible Tony could figure it out and do a third hour properly. He has a ton of talent on there, but you're fighting time, and it's the same problem that Raw has. If Raw was a two hour product, I don't think the complaints would be as visceral about that show i have a i have great difficulty even if it's a really good raw i have great difficulty sitting there for three hours it's just not we, we've reconditioned our brains as far as content consumption and that's something that people overlook my background's in media i i i see analytics constantly from uh clients as far as interest on a website, interest on a video, and it's getting shorter and shorter. We're in this TikTok generation of content consumption where if you're not getting the information within the first 15 seconds, you're, you're over it. Now, for live sports, it's different, but there's still that fatigue that plays a part. When everything else is much shorter and now you got to sit down for three hours and there's some low periods in there, you know, it's a problem. I don't think Tony wants to do three hours. I, I think we all know Tony doesn't want to do three hours because that's how Rampage came about. The network wanted more, and that was their compromise, to do another one-hour show. And of course it's a compromise, because who in the right mind would prefer a time slot of 10 p.m. on a Friday? It's a very difficult time slot to do any really strong numbers in. Just not, not a thing. So you got to look at wh what are you doing here? Do you add another hour to Rampage? You also have the Ring of Honor deal you need pro content for. Uh, that you did not get done. You uh, you got to pop those numbers up a little bit this year for your TV. So there's a lot of moving parts here. Uh, that Bloomberg article was something. Did you see that? Big jacked up Tony Khan on the cover. Ultimate Warrior level <laughs> Tony Khan. That was, a, that was a scary AI image, let me tell you. <laughs> Big jacked up dude. With a, if you have not seen it, go look at that Bloomberg cover. Hysterical. Tony should love that. You know, we're both the same age. We grew up in that same generation of wrestling. If that was a major publication that photoshopped me on some big jacked up wrestler, I'd love it. But the article is a little eh, a little weird story there. I, I, I don't want to I don't want to give you my bias here. I think you guys should go read it. But, you know, he's in a he's in a contract year. So we're going to see what happens there. 